Hey everyone, it's Michelle Leong for Paper Tray Ink and the latest Make It Monday, which I am entitling Lots of Dots. I'm using a very clean and simple design for this butterfly card using butterfly blooms, keep it simple, brighter days, and the pretty striped paper from Bitty Big Pure Black. So this butterfly has lots of areas to add a little bit of detailing with those um, Nouveau Gloss Dot colors in a rainbow of colors. Red berry, carnation pink, ripened pumpkin, dandelion yellow, apple green, and Caribbean ocean. And I'm also using uh, Hero Arts fine detail black embossing um, to give a little more dimension to that butterfly. So I'm using a for I'm using a Stamper Select white um, as the base for my butterfly. We're using a little bit of, of embossing ink and some of that, that fine black detail embossing powder to um, create these butterflies. Always better to have more butterflies than you need so we can make them in many, many colors and so we have future cards available. There are lots of designs that work with this uh, Lots of Dots technique, like maybe Sweet Treats as the sprinkles on the top of the cone, uh, Baby Mine, those little elephant ears, or perhaps the raindrops, uh, Forest Floor, the dots on the strawberries, or maybe Fancy Folk Art, and possibly some of those pretty um, cover-up background stamps. You could add a little bit of dimension on those as well. So we're going to... Um, emboss and then um, heat set and die cut those butterflies and then we'll get started with some color. My suggestion would be that you put on two or three colors um, at a time and make sure those areas aren't touching. Then give it a few minutes, five or ten minutes, and go in with your uh, next set of two or three colors. Then, then set it aside, maybe ten or fifteen minutes, and then it should be good to go after that. So now we are putting our card together. I have a four by five and a half card base in Stamper Select White, so it's a little bit taller and narrower, um, along with a layer of black and white stripe from the Bitty Big Pure Black. And then I am using the Berry Reef Tag Dye as the base of my circular focal point. I'm gonna snip off that little tag top and then I'm going to use um, some nesting circle, a nesting circle die to add the white layer and just have a very tiny bit of black peeking out of that uh, circular layer. So I'm going to put that together and I will then put that in the top third of my uh, card front and then I'll adhere my butterfly to that with a little bit of dimensional tape so that butterfly has a little bit of dimension like he's he or she is ready to to take flight and then the last little bit is my um, my banner sentiment which I'm using um, a die from the wine bottle tag 2 die set and that is um, stamp for the sentiment from brighter, let's keep it simple, brighter days. And it says brighter days are ahead, which is fairly apropos because this is a black and white butterfly, but a, lot, a rainbow of colored dots on there. So lots of brighter days. So now we're going to stamp our sentiment onto the banner die, and it says brighter days ahead. Then I'm going to put a little bit of dimensional tape on the back of this banner and adhere it to this very simple black and white with lots of pops of color card. Really simple to, du simple to duplicate once you've figured out your design. And I got a little carried away, made a few more, so I made this colorful version, just a single butterfly with simple black and white. And then I made uh, another butterfly in just Hawaiian Shores. And then a third card using a couple of the butterflies sort of going across the front of the card and a little bit of black and white twine. So clean and simple all the way. And 
And then here are our the trio of butterfly cards. Very clean and simple. I'll use in that black and white stripe card base. Super simple. And I also made another uh, set using craft and the Warm Regards set. And instead of using that little stamp for the center, I've used my, uh, my Nouveau Gloss Dot colors as the center, which adds a little bit of shine and a little bit of dimension to those very simple cards. Lots of um, saturated colors on the craft. So I've used uh, Royal Velvet, Raspberry Fizz, Terracotta Tile, and also the Fresh Snow. Thanks so much for joining us at Paper Tray Inc.'s Make It Monday feature. We hope that you'll take a peek at the Paper Tray Inc. blog, we'll check out the challenge details, and we'll be making your own project and linking it up for a chance to win a $25 Paper Tray Inc. gift certificate. Thanks so much and have a great week.